welcome back. So this is one of my favorite kind of videos. It is our fall bucket list for our family and I am so excited to share it with you. Fall is my favorite. <laughs> and today is a collaboration with Down Home with Lemon Pie. So if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I am a Christian homeschooling mama of six little ones and I do homeschooling and lifestyle videos. And if you are one of my subscribers, please go to the link below and look at Down Home with Lemon Pie's videos. She shares very similar content. We've done collaborations in the past and she is just a beautiful, sweet mama who has so many wonderful ideas. And I know she's excited to share her fall bucket list with you as well. I'm sure she has fabulous ideas. So, okay, I have our bucket. <laughs> And in our playroom, I will hang this. I have this little board with pegs and I'm gonna hang it on a peg and I am going to clip with little um, clothespins our little leaves all over our board. And each leaf has a fall bucket list item on it. And when we complete it, we will drop it into our bucket. So we have a bucket for our bucket list, something a little bit different that I'm excited to do. Usually like for summer, we just do the chalkboard with the things and cross them out as we go. And I'm excited to have the little fall bucket list bucket. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. And we, like I said, I love fall. So, and we for years now have done something we call Fall Fun Friday and my kids, they look so forward to it. Even in winter, they're like, are we having fall fun Friday? And I'm like, it's not fall anymore. I'm actually going to come up with a winter version of our fall fun Friday this year because my children just always look so forward to it. And you know, on years that we've been busy, it's just been a little something, a little fall fun Friday. Maybe we made some cookies or we did a little fall craft. There was just always something on Friday that was fall fun. But this year their daddy actually has off of Fridays, like all the Fridays are off. So we are going to really do our fall fun Friday. That's when everything is. Um, so one of them is, we'll just go through these. I have so many things that I hope to do all of them. We're sure going to try. <laughs> we are going to make an apple pie and we're going to have a bonfire. We have our farm. So a bonfire, we, we can do that. <laughs> Their daddy already has the stuff in the pile ready to go, all the sticks. And we're going to make pumpkin snickerdoodle cookies, which is something we like to do as a tradition every year. And we will paint pumpkins. I'm just, I always buy those little pumpkins from like Walmart and we just sit down and do a craft where they just have fun and throw all the paint on the pumpkins. So that's something we're going to do. Just the, one of those easy things. And we're going to make caramel apples. So that's, that's a fun one. And then we're going to go on a hike. We have a hundred acres in our property is wooded. So we enjoy going on hikes, especially in the fall when it's cool. Um, I hate summer hikes. <laughs> I don't like being sweaty. So a fall hike is on our list and we have a um, pine tree forest within our forest. And I would love to just collect all the pine cones and walk through the pine forest. And one of my things when finding our farm was I knew that it would be the right farm if we found a farm with 100 acre woods like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> so as you know, I'm like a Disney mom. I love Disney and I was like, I want Winnie the Pooh's 100 acre woods. And that was part of why we knew this, this farm was right for us because it had 100 acre woods. So we love that and we love doing things with it. And something else we're gonna do, we are going to make pumpkin spice Play-Doh and I will be sharing some of these on our vlogs. Um, I try to share a vlog every Sunday and I'm sure you're gonna see these coming up on it. Um, whenever we do the pumpkin spice Play-Doh, I like to get those, um, like a Dollar Tree, they have the chips and salsa kind of platters or like the condiments, you know? 
So you take a ball, a pumpkin spice Play-Doh, put it in the middle, and then in each little compartment around it, you can have sticks or googly eyes and leaves and just all the little things. And your children can decorate the little pumpkin spice Play-Doh ball in the middle, like a little pumpkin or, you know, it's just something really fun that they can sit there and do while you do other things. So, and the recipe for Play-Doh is just so simple and you just put all the pumpkin spicy things in there. My leaf is blowing. And something we do every year, a tradition is to roast pumpkin seeds. My daughter looks especially forward to this. We usually do savory seeds and then some sweet seeds with cinnamon and sugar. So, and being in Texas, we like to do armadillo dust on our savory seeds and it's really good. So it's a seasoning we can buy here. And we are going to, with school, go on a fall scavenger hunt. I'm gonna have a little board with all the little things and they're gonna clip little things to their board as they find them and I think they're gonna have fun. Again, that'll probably be on one of my daily vlogs. And we are going to, this is new and I'm excited about this. We'll see if I pull it off. If it works, I will share it with you. <laughs> we are going to make homemade caramel and it just sounds lovely. Um, the only thing I'm not sure about is it uses vegetable oil and I tend to stay away from vegetable oil because of the carcinogens in it, but um, I don't know if there's an alternative. I was actually trying to research that, but maybe because it's not heated up, it's okay. I don't know. <laughs> if you have any insight, comment below, but to make homemade caramel, it sounded lovely and we are going to bake pumpkin bread. I actually have a recipe, recipe for... Um, chocolate chip pumpkin bread. So we're gonna be doing that very soon, maybe even today. And we are going to be making homemade apple cider, which is just a fun thing to do on a cool evening. And then every year we go to a pumpkin patch. I actually think we're going to be trying out a new pumpkin patch this year. I think I found one that has some more fun stuff that was recommended by a friend. So I'm excited about that. And we like to carve a pumpkin and put some kind of fun design on it. We'll do that. And every year we go on a hayride. We technically could do this here at our farm, <laughs> but we like to go somewhere else and do it. So we'll do that. And make pumpkin waffles. I'll probably be doing this a lot because my children love the pumpkin waffle recipe. <laughs> so there will be a lot of pumpkin waffles. We've already done some. I'm sure we'll do more. And then to roast marshmallows. Maybe we could combine this with our bonfire night. Or we could just do it over the fireplace. All kinds of things. That's a fun one they love. Make s'mores and roast the marshmallows. Um, we have a craft coming up with fall owls. So we're gonna be making fall owls, which is like two brown handprints and then an owl shape that they decorate, so. And then we're gonna be doing another craft. I try to do a craft every Friday for Fall Fun Friday. It doesn't always happen, but I try to. So I have a couple planned. Um, apple pie paper plates. So what you do, you take the paper plate and you paint the brown around the edges and then you take apples to stamp, apple stamping, and you put red or green in the paint and you do all the middle. And then you put two strips of brown this way and two strips of brown this way and you have an apple pie craft where they got to do the apple stamping in kind of a way that really looks cute when they're done. So I'm excited to do that. Every year we do a fall trifle, which is really yummy. It has butterscotch and chocolate and all the gooey things. And um, my kids are looking forward to that. We're going to be doing leaf rubbings, maybe from what we get on our fall scavenger hunt. We'll save some of those leaves or on another day, we'll just go out and collect all the leaves in our forest, maybe on our hike. That would be a good one. Collect leaves on the hike for our leaf rubbings. Next one, we love to go to the zoo in the fall because it is just so hot in summer. We do not like to go to the zoo in the summer. So we want to go to Boo at the zoo in the fall and they usually have some little candy stations where they can get candy and such and my kids love that. We are going to do itsy bitsy spider hands. Um, it's a cute little craft I'll share with you where they do the black little hand. It has googly eyes and you do the little web and it's itsy bitsy spider hands. So cute. So I love those little, we do a lot of the hand crafts. <laughs> so. And then we're going to be having turkey popcorn and a movie night. Um, you take a plastic glove 
and you put the white popcorn in the middle and then each of the feathers has like red M&Ms, yellow, orange, and so on. And it looks like a little turkey and they can sit there and watch a movie and eat their little turkey popcorn hand. So we'll do that. They love things like that. And then we've already done this one. If you saw my video, I just posted on Sunday, the state fair. It's one of our favorite fall activities that there is. And guys, that is it. So I am going to hang up our little fall bucket and pin all of the little leaves to our board. So if this is your first time with me, thank you for stopping by and I'm so glad you're here. I try to do the Sunday vlogs of our life and I try to um, throw some cook with me's in there throughout the week. They're usually sweet and simple and fast, just recipes we enjoy. Um, a lot of homeschooling, cleaning, and just lifestyle in general. I'd love to have more shop with me's, but I haven't been getting out as much as I want to. So hopefully that's coming for Christmas. I'm really excited about Christmas too. Fall's my favorite. I say that and it is, but when Christmas comes and winter comes, that'll probably be my favorite. <laughs> so I just love the cool weather and I love the holidays and the family the family fun. I love the family fun. And I think that's what it's all about for me. Um, time is my love language. I love quality time. So I feel like this time of year just really creates that family time. And I'm just so excited to do all the things. I would love to hear what kind of fall family fun you are having. Comment below and let me know. And if you're my subscribers, like I said, be sure to check out Down Home with Lemon Pie. They are absolutely beautiful and you will enjoy them. Until next time, bye.